Hey guys, welcome back to another StartupWise video. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to create a really simple webinar on your website using Kajabi. If you guys didn't know, Kajabi is a really cool platform that we use for hosting our websites, courses, newsletters, and webinars, to name a few. We highly recommend Kajabi for you know all entrepreneurs out there that want a solid platform for their business. So if you guys are interested, we'll be leaving a link down in the description below where you guys can get started with a 30-day free trial to Kajabi. Anyways, I'll be taking you guys through a step-by-step step tutorial showing you guys how to create a simple but effective webinar for bringing traffic into your website as well as you know for any of your products or affiliate links now when it comes to online webinars all you need is just four things you need the sign up form you need the registration page the webinar page and the email campaign so the way it works to get a ton of targeted traffic to your webinar is by actually making it free because having a webinar that's free to attend is always a really great magnet for attracting people to your website and through that registration page that you create they're going to be entering in their information like their email and their name and from there you can redirect them with an email campaign to your affiliate links or your products which would then result in some conversions. the type of webinar that i'm going to be showing you guys today is going to be a pre-recorded video so that means a you can either film the video and upload it straight onto kajabi or you know b you can film it edit the video and then upload it there or c you can just have a recorded zoom call and then upload that as the webinar and now i'll be showing you guys step by step how to create everything okay so here i am on Kajabi and the first thing that you're going to want to do is create the sign up form so in order to do that you're going to click on marketing right here and once you're there you're going to click on forms from here you just click on new form up on the top and from here you could just give it a title so right here I'm going to name it test save and this is going to be the internal title by the way which means that people are not going to see this title and from here you have the opt-in settings so you have double opt-in or single opt-in as you can see it's recommended that you have it at double opt-in so I'll just leave it at that and if you go down you'll see that there's form fields so right here you have the name and the email most of the time the name and the email is all you need but if you want you can also add another form field so let's say I want to create a new field and then I'm going to name it phone number and then this is going to be phone right here and then make this field required and then click save so what this basically means is that when they're trying to sign up for the webinar they're going to need to input their name email and phone number before they can access the video once you're done with that you could leave the automations alone because we'll be doing that later on with the email campaign but other than that you just click on save and the next thing that you need to do is create your registration page so we'll go over to website right here and then we'll click on pages and then landing and we'll go ahead and create a new landing page from here you have a bunch of different templates that Kajabi offers you but for the sake of this video we're just gonna keep it simple and go with the blank one and then we're gonna click on get started give it a title so let's say test webinar and then click create once that's done I'm gonna go ahead and customize the page so right here on the title register for this webinar and then obviously you can put the title for your webinar and right here maybe I can choose a picture but for this I'll take that one out and then you're gonna want to click on add content wherever and then you're gonna want to choose form so that is right here and then for the form you're gonna want to select your form that you just created so the test form right here and once I select that you could see right here that it has the name email and phone number that they must submit and you can also add some text so for example we could say this webinar is about blah, blah, blah. And we can leave this text the same. And of course you can change all the other things through all the different customizations that Kajabi has. But we're just gonna keep it simple for now and then click on save. And we'll go ahead and click on back and go back to the landing pages. So I actually forgot that this is gonna be the registration page. So I'll just go ahead and click on the three dots right here and click on edit details. And from there I can go ahead and put in the registration webinar page. Boom. And then from here, I'll click save and then go back to pages, I'll go back to landing. And from here, we're going to create the webinar page now. So we're going to click on new landing page again. And for this one, again, you could choose any of these if you want. I think this one looks pretty good. So I'll go with prosper, click on get started. And then for this one, I'll give it the title. So this one's going to be test webinar page and we'll click on create so once that's done setting up then you're going to see the page that you have and from here you just have to customize it to your own liking so let's say this is the logo image so let's say i don't want this so i'll delete this block and from here i'll click on this and i'll rearrange the text to webinar about kajabi and then from here i can click on edit and then I'll go to video actions and I can upload a video. And then down here, I can also customize the call to action. So let's say I want to sign up 
here and I can go in and customize the button action as well. So let's say I wanna bring it to a custom URL. So I can bring it to a landing page, a checkout page. I can have them download a file once they click on the button. And pretty much you could use this call to action for anything that you want for, you know, selling your product or, you know, bring them to an affiliate link. But this video isn't gonna cover how to design an actual website. We have videos on the channel about that. But for now, this video is just focused on how to create the basics. And so from here, I'll just click on save and then I'll go back out. And now the last thing that you wanna do is create your email campaign. So you're gonna go down to marketing right here. And once you're there, if you're not already, then click on email campaigns and then go ahead and click on new email campaign right here. And you should get two different options, one for an email broadcast and one for an email sequence. I'm gonna go ahead and click on email sequence because this is the one that you want. And from here, you give it a title. So I'm gonna just name it test email campaign and then click on continue and from here it's going to have a bunch of other templates for me to choose from for the sake of this video i'm just going to click on the simple text and i'm going to click on get started and name it a title this is going to be internal so the audience isn't going to see this so you can name it whatever i'm going to just name it test and then click on create and once it's done installing your template now you have a bunch of different options that you could choose from so right here it says the day so this means that this email is gonna send one day after somebody subscribes to the sequence. And if I want, I can have the email send out like let's say two days before, three days before, but for now I'm gonna keep it at one. Again, this is the title that you can change. So this is gonna be the subject line for the email. So let's say I want it to say, did you sign up yet? And then this is gonna be the preview text. So I could just write a bunch of random stuff. And if you scroll down, then this is gonna be where the actual email content is. So I'm just gonna click on edit content. And from here, I can customize the call to action that I give after the webinar. So I'll go in and I'll change a few things. So I'll say, for example, hi, first name. If you want to sign up, then click on the button below. And then from here, I can change this to say, sign up here. And again, I can customize it to send them to a landing page, a checkout page, download file, or go to a specific URL. From here, I'll just click on save and then go back. And once I'm satisfied with the email content, I'll click on save and then I'll go back to test email campaign. And once I'm here, this is where I'm gonna add the automation. So I'm gonna click on subscribe trigger right here and I'm gonna add a trigger. So this is gonna be the when and then automation. So for the when, I'm gonna add when a form is submitted and it's gonna be when the test form that we created earlier, it's gonna be when that form is submitted, then they're going to subscribe to this test email campaign sequence. So I'll click on save right here and that's pretty much all you need to do. So from here, what's gonna happen is they're gonna go to your website landing page. Let's go back to the pages so you guys can see a whole view of the entire process that's happening. So I'll go ahead and open the registration page as well as the webinar page for you guys to look at and I'll also open open up our form so you guys can see this. So this is the very first thing that we did. Remember we did the form that we created where they had to submit their name, email, and phone number. And now down here, we can see that the automation is set to subscribe to the test email campaign when this form is submitted. So we're gonna go back to the landing page where it has the form. And from here, we're gonna have the thank you page as the URL of the webinar page. So if we go back up to the pages and we go up to the webinar page, we could just click right here and copy URL, go back and then set the thank you page to that and then click save. So this means that whenever they register, they're gonna submit all their information to the form, which is going to subscribe them to the email list. And then one day after they subscribe, they're gonna get that email with the call to action. And what happens after they click on submit is they're gonna be sent to the webinar page. So if we go over to the webinar page, we'll see that this is what they're gonna see after they click on submit. And from here, they're gonna have the video to watch as well as the call to action at the end. And yeah, if you want, you can go back and you can add more emails. So let's say I want to add a second email and I'll just create a simple text, test day two, then create. And I can have this email sent two days after somebody subscribes. So they're going to be sent two emails instead of just one. And I could just have this as a reminder. So let's say just a reminder to sign up. And obviously you guys would change the preview text and edit the email as well. But for now, I'll just click on save and that's pretty much it. So yeah, after that, you've successfully created your webinar. And from here, all you have to do is just drive traffic to your website. And one of the easiest ways that you could do this is by leveraging social media. So for example, you could use Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and even email newsletter. But yeah, overall, a great way to get a ton of traffic to your website where you can either promote your product or an affiliate link. Again, if you guys want a free 30-day trial to Kajabi, we'll be leaving a link down in the description for you guys 
guys to check out. And I hope you guys got a ton of value out of this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more videos just like this. We make a ton of tutorials on this channel dedicated to helping entrepreneurs start their own business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.